Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Wendy here from Little Ness Crafts with a, um, another video for uh, Margaret Miller's Collage Weekly Planner Challenge of 2024 and we're now on week 28. Um, sorry this is a bit late coming out. Um, I normally put this video out on a Monday but uh, we went away for the weekend. We took the two dogs and Toto the parrot um, away f f for the like a long weekend really in the camper and uh, so yeah we got back um, earlier on this afternoon so uh, we're all unpacked and uh, I thought I would get this video out this evening so uh, let's carry on we'll go through the prompts um, the first one is uh, a texture or pattern found in clothing the second one is something associated with relaxation. The third one is a repeating pattern. The fourth one is a positive aff affirmation. The fifth one is an image of a landscape or some scenery. And then the bonus is a security envelope design. So we'll move those prompts to one side and uh, just within eye shot. So I can refer to them and we'll bring in our um, background. So let's have a look. Um, so a texture or pattern found in clothing. I'll park that one for a minute. Um, something f associated with relaxation is, uh, I've picked this picture here, and if I bring it up to the camera a little bit, you'll see why. Um, it's got some aromatherapy uh, products here, some candles, and it's fr from a picture of a spa, actually. So you've got some nice uh, towels there, um, some bath salts, and uh, yeah, you you associate those with uh, relaxation and um, aromatherapy. And what I've done is I've fussy cut round the picture. I've done some forward prep. And I think what I'm going to have to do, it looks like I've spilt something on the corner here. Um, it's a little bit wet, so I, I might turn this over to work on the back. And it's actually come through there must be some water on my desk oh I know what it was I actually put some thinners in my um, glue I ordered some um, acetone so I think when I've been pouring it I've perhaps dropped a little bit in there so I'm just going to put you on pause and I'll cut some fresh paper so there we go. I've just cut a, a fresh piece of cardstock there and I haven't put any um, border in it. Um, I think we'll sort of manage without for this week. Um, these are what I've actually got together, um, which I hope will fulfil the prompts. So we've got um, something associated with relaxation. Um, a repeating pattern. Well, I've picked a couple of things actually. Now, these are some William Morris prints, and I'm leaning towards this one because of the greens that's in my background. But I also liked this blue, but it has caught in my my printer, so there's a. I might have to take that top part off. Um, so I'll, I'll park that to one side at the moment. And then um, a positive aff affirmation. Well, I think that I am blessed. So that's my favourite. And uh, so I've gone with that. And I've done it in some slightly different fonts. So I've done two of those to see which one I'd like to keep. Um, an image of a landscape or scenery. Well, going on keeping the theme of 
relaxation. I quite like this scene, which was some decking with some lovely sun loungers looking out at the ocean, uh, my favourite place to be. Um, so that would be my idea of relaxation, uh, being near the, near the sea and enjoying the scenery. Um, so I've gone with that. And then a security envelope design. Well, I've taken one of my mailers and this is the interior of it. And I quite like this one because it reminds me of rope and, the, you know, the sailing theme and being on the water. So I've taken a slice of, I've taken a, an oblong of that. And then um, going back to number one, a texture or pattern found on clothing. Um, well, I've gone for the texture, really. And this is a piece of scrap piece of paper that's... Um, been embossed so I hope that you can see the texture on there so I was hoping that I would be able to incorporate that into my picture at some point so we'll pop that to one side and then we'll go along with the the uh, the background now and I thought I would use that as my background piece And then, that's going to be a, a little bit big, so I might have to cut that down a little bit because it's actually encroaching into my border. So um, I'm just going to reduce the size of that a little bit. Bear with and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back and I've cut it a little bit uh, smaller as you can see. So hopefully this will fit. I'll just put that to one side. And I've put a little bit of a border around it as well. That's better, I think. It just separates it from that um, background. And then what I've done is I found some of these that are um, fabric patterns, patterns found in fabric. So that one was a stripe and then this one was a, a woven pattern. So I wondered if I would be able to incorporate those in some way just to differentiate from the background. So let's have a look there. Now I have to reduce the background on there, the white border. Let me just have a look. So I've reduced the border a little bit. The white, I wanted to keep some of the white because I want it to stand out from the background. And I don't dislike that with the stripe there. If I reduce that and then pop this on the background there, like so. Oh no, I'd have to come down a little bit, wouldn't I? Let's have a look. That's roughly in the middle. So if I came down there, just let it hang over into the workspace a little bit. Then what am I going to do with this? So this is the print the inside of my security envelope and I quite like that there
because it picks out the blues in the sky. So if I take that light to the edge there, just to eliminate and bring it over a little bit. I suppose I could actually bring it this side if I had that up to my one centimetre border. So if I if I take my edge of my page to that line to give me some guidelines to work from, that's my one centimetre border down to there. And if I had all of those edges on the background pieces matching right to the edge on there, bring that down a little bit so I don't obliterate, so I don't lose all of my piece there. I can reduce that a little bit down there. Let me just try that background just to see if it's any better. Hmm. No, I think I like the stripe. I prefer the stripe. So, let's have a look then. That's my one centimetre border. To there, making sure I'm straight. Put that in the centre. With that, up to the edge. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this top piece just to try and eliminate everything sliding about so much. Oh, now then, before I do that, I've got to think about my, my words of affirmation. So, Have a look. I need to take it up a little bit. There we go. That's where I was hoping to put it. Let me just try the other one. I think I like the font. I like the font better on the other one. What I've got to do is just check that everything on there is straight, my edges, because I think they're slightly out. 
before I glue everything down. And I think what I'm going to do is pop that there. And I don't need this piece now because I've got my clothing pattern, my striped clothing in the background there. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. So I shall move this one, move that one. And before I do that, let me just bring that forward. And make sure Yeah, I think I like it with that green border there. On that there, I think. Yep, yeah, I think we'll go with that. Happy with that. So, if I just pop a line and my glue's going to play up today. <laughs> Excuse my arm. Let's have a look. Now then, just put a little bit along there. Just to keep that where it's going. And then I'll just put a bit of glue in that corner so I know where that's going. Then we'll move those two pieces out the way and I can glue the rest down then. One second. I just need to unblock it again. That's the only thing with this art glitter glue I find. It um when it's getting a bit old it goes thicker. a bit gloopy. So it sticks. There we are. So I'm just going to check my lines are straight, my edges are straight and I'll be right back. So I've checked my edges of my paper are straight and they are so I think I'm going to stick that one down onto there quickly and just do the corner and then lift this corner just to get it in the right position there we go and stick this corner down So that's that one. Okay. 
That's that one. There we are. We get in there slowly. So I'll just line that back up on my desk again. And then I was hoping to align it properly by going between there and there. I'll lower it down a bit actually. There and there. So I just need to take a bit more off. And what does that look like if I overhang both end edges and make that central focal point? I quite like that, but let me just take a bit more off this edge. So it's matching the other one as near as we can. Now the only thing we're doing that, I haven't got any of the blue around this side, which I think looks a bit odd if I'm placing that centrally. Or does it? Sometimes you have to stand back and see whether it's pleasing to the eye. So we'll bring in, while we're, I'm debating that, I'll just bring in this piece. And we'll have a look. I don't dislike it actually. So we'll have a look if I move it over so that those edges are all matching down this side and that piece too. And we'll have a look and see what we think. Yeah, I think I prefer that, so that it's uniform down that side. And then we've got pieces that are staggered elsewhere. So yeah, sold to that man on the left. So let's uh, pop some glue on here. I'll go sparingly because it looks as though it seeps through the paper so I don't want it to well, where did we say that was lined with there and there We need another little bit under here. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, coming down here. And what I'm going to do is leave that as a pocket, a hidden pocket, just in case I want to uh, pop anything in you could always tuck that in you see couldn't you the prompts like there okay so let's go over the prompts then we've got a texture or pattern found in clothing. So we've got um, a, a striped 
fabric background here. Something associated with relaxation is my aromatherapy oils <clears throat> and candle. And you've got, uh, you know, your incense as well there. Repeating pattern is the background piece here. Positive aff affirmation. I am blessed and I am very blessed indeed. Um, an image or landscape. An Im sorry, an image of a landscape or scenery, which is my um, looking out to the ocean uh, landscape there. And bonus security envelope design. So that's my bonus uh, prompt at the back. So thank you for joining me, everybody. Hope you like this piece. And I'll give you a little close up now. Just get rid of my knife before I do myself an injury. And I've just broken the top of it. So I shall sort that out in a minute. There we go. And I'll just... Uh, Lift it up a little bit there so you can see. Okay. So until next week then everybody, hope that you have a good week and I hope that uh, um, you all keep well and um, I send you my blessings. Take care then. Bye.